Mabuha, Kamustika, welcome, how are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. It won't be me speaking today as I have a message from Mr. E who would like to address and give a statement to the audience. He felt it is very important for the audience to hear it. A, late, a little later on, either this week or next week, I will give my commentary to his statement in a follow-up video, so stay tuned for that. The topic Mr. E wants to talk about is, are men being sold a false bill of goods? In typical Mr. E fashion, he certainly doesn't pull any punches, but if you learn anything from him in this video, please pay attention to his final words about finding a mission. It is something I feel everyone in the audience should take to heart, as there is much wisdom in his words. Before I read his statement, I would like to remind those watching to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Without any further ado, here is Mr. E's statement. I want to take an opportunity with this video to educate the audience on being discerning and being able to think for themselves. I'm very concerned and alarmed how many men in the manosphere and red pill take the word of many commentators within the sphere and try applying their path to their life. It is important for any red pill aware man to think for himself and to critically think and not follow others off a cliff. It is ultimately up to yourself to determine how to apply the red pill to your solution excuse me, to your situation and your life. Many commentators try to sell you boilerplate models and methods in order to make a buck off of you. While I'm not against people being compensated for hard work and the time they devote, it is another selling snake oil to desperate men trying to find their way in modern society. I feel many so-called red pill commentators misrepresent what the red pill is all about and try to use the concept of the red pill to profit among the most vulnerable men in our society. The truth is the red pill knowledge has always been free and will remain free. You see the red pill is a framework that is to be applied to your life in order to better yourself. The red pill is not some magic seduction system some guy charges $59.99 for or coaching sessions for $1,000. Trying to apply these systems to your life will not help you Rather, it damages you as you are applying what someone else thinks you should be rather than being who you should be. You are not growing as a person, which is what the red pill encourages. I feel many men are being sold a false bill of goods at their own expense, and this has damaged many men's lives and has made them very bitter and unhappy, both in relationships and in other areas, as it has led them to a dead end. The red pill is only a framework, and the ending or finale is up to you. It ultimately shows you the path towards success, but many men unfortunately misapply the concepts and it ultimately leads to a path of misery and bitterness. Be wary of men who offer boilerplate solutions for a price, as generally these men use the basic male instincts in order to manipul manipulate you for profit. I feel many men who have taken the red pill have lost the meaning of what it is and what it tries to achieve. The truth is the greatest lesson the red pill teaches you um, is to attain virtue and to put meaning in your life. It is not wanton hedonism, nor is it prudishness. It is doing what makes you happy and is a guide to attain your goals. But what is evident from me watching and being a part of this sphere for such a long time is concepts of game and the red pill should be applied to marriage and family creation instead of pumping and dumping barflies and sluts like most men do. Many in the audience will scoff at such ideas. Many say you only live once and enjoy the decline. But isn't it funny, many of the original gangsters and pioneers of the space have retired from hedonistic pleasure and have gotten married or are advocating marriage now, while others have become very bitter and toxic because their lives no longer have meaning. There is a reason marriage has been a staple for civilization for a millennia. Perhaps these old timers and ancestors who didn't know any better may have been onto something, and just as Occam's razor states, the simplest solution is often the best solution. Living a life of promiscuity and pump and dumps is no different than being a slave and asking the plantation owner to put you to work. Men who rely on notch counts, whether they like it or not, are no different than their blue pill counterparts that make fun of as uh, as they, that they make fun of as they are still putting women on a pedestal they define their identity solely by the amount of women they bed 
ultimately these men are still attached to a woman's behavior or reaction you are still dependent on women giving you what you need that fix to those who say all women are like that and believe all women are the same no matter where they are isn't it funny you are still dependent on women to give you what you need a reaction why is it there are billions of men and women in third world countries who live on nothing but are still content in their lives and are happy while the complaining red pillar pickup artist and MGTOW from first world nations complain because all women are like that and all women suck I make no illusions I have been caught in his mindset but have had an epiphany it is because we are weak both mentally and spiritually in order to become strong we must recognize these flaws and have discipline while some may say we have biological needs that need to be fulfilled and we need to pump and dump every woman we see these are lusts and attachments that require discipline the more holistic and healthy way these biological needs can be filled is in the union of marriage as God intended now um, he says I make no illusions that the situation is uh, dire in the West and marriage is not in vogue however the solution to the problem is what you feel is the best course of action is some may go MGTOW however for most men marriage to a woman overseas the brown pill is the solution so the moral of this video and the message I hope you get out of this is beware of people who can solve your life problems that even goes for me and Bob only you know what is best for your life there are many grifters and con artists who have cashed in on the dire situation in many Western countries in the misandrous environment that we live in. Many of these snake oil salesmen like to sell the dream to you, offering to share their super secret formula to help improve why your life sucks only if you have credit. They tout that they sell novel solutions to complex problems, but when applied, these solutions are often no solutions at all and make you more frustrated and confused in conclusion I will share this wisdom with you free of charge in order to fix the problems in your life look for a mission men need a mission they need a mountain to climb and conquer and that is the end of uh, the commentary from Mr. E now I need some time to ponder uh, Mr. E's statement I know he felt strongly about it and it, he wanted it to hit the presses as soon as possible and frankly I have never seen him this fired up before did you catch his ending comment men need a mission they need a mountain to uh, climb and conquer you can bet my reply to this will be designed to help men find love beyond the sea